PR now, I don't think, but he was definitely one of the top contenders. Uh, he's definitely one of the best in, uh, from a perspective state. And Lil's Filler had an amazing run at the last Mamam. Um, he, oh, oh wow, they we're getting, right we're it, getting yeah. started, guys. Let me tell you, this this is how uh, Lil's Filler did it, dude. He uh, wobbled his way against some very good players. And he's proven to be one of the better ice climbers in New England. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was a zero to death, right? <laughs> I mean, just got a zero to death. Pretty uh, pretty straightforward one, but zero to death nonetheless. And honestly, I'm a little fretful for Bonfire because I don't know how uh, how good he is at this matchup. Like, he does have practice mm. playing against uh, infinite numbers. Infinite, right. But this matchup is just considered pretty left for Sheik. Um, she can, like, if she religiously needle camps. I was going to say, needling seems like yeah. a good, good it, option. It but makes it, like, really uh, difficult for the ice climbers to kind of get at her when she's on a platform. But inversely, right. uh, the solo climbers by themselves have a chain grab on her. So even if, like, Nana is out of sync or whoever the secondary climber is, depending on what color you're using, is out of sync, if you get a grab as a solo climber, you can just down throw tech chase until your secondary climber is in sync with you. So right. there we go. Gonna really, yeah, really good stuff for Bonfire 10. He split up. Split everyone up very nicely. All right, there we go. So now it's an even game, but he does have 96%. So, oh, there we go. That double fair is going to clip him just a little bit. And he tries to get a short hop nair from the ledge, or a double jump nair from the ledge to kind of beat him out. But it's going to end up trading with Load Spiller, and Load Spiller takes the lead once again. Bonfire laughing that one off a bit. Okay, that might be, yep. That is a dead Nana. Or at least, I guess, in uh, this case, a uh, dead Popo, because uh, for this color. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 technically it is. All right. Fair enough. So then we got Sona trying to keep alive, but it's going to get down thrown to an up air or a forward air. Either way, it doesn't matter. She's Peace dead. out. <coughs> that's a stock. <laughs> All right, so this is actually closer than, uh, I guess, most people would think it would be. Or may maybe, maybe it's right in the realm of expectation. Yeah, I mean, um, what we're seeing really is, you know, especially after that first stock where it's just – Zero to wobble, right? Basically, I think there's some um, intense adapting coming from Bonfire Ten. He realized, all right, I cannot be careless at all, or, or I'm going to lose the stock. So, I think we're seeing basically a comeback now. Ooh, I think his double jump got clipped there. Grab that ledge. Oh no, he was way too slow with that. Wow, down smash it in both sides, knocking him around. Yeah, down smash is actually like I don't want to say good because it's definitely punishable on shield. Like it's one of the more difficult moves to punish on shield, but. Uh, it hits both climbers, and since Nana is always late, like it has a tendency to hit her a lot. Um, but in a situation like that, it was perfect. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I'm actually curious as to why Bonfire didn't go for the forward air right there. It would definitely be easier to have Sona off stage than to have her above you. As she, um, yeah, maybe just you know, in the heat of the moment, trying to get a read of her different option. Right. Missed something. If I'm Love Spiller, I'm looking to just get a grab right now because you can milk that for at least 40%. That's it. But looks like that Sona is gonna die. And it's now last stock speech, Nana giving out that taunt that sometimes happens because AI be silly. <laughs> there he goes, nice, gets okay. dash attack. Oh, and this current transformation is so really, bad for Bonfire. Really Bonheim. good walling right now. He doesn't have the I'm side platform right now, and Founder Dreams is not working out for him. He's just waiting for that side platform to come back so he has something to run to, and there it is, finally coming up. Good choice to get up attack, just, just <laughs> knock him out of the way enough to, to be able to recover. We'll see if he makes the recovery here. All right, there he goes, back on stage. Really good coverage by Load Spiller. Oh, wow. I'm actually surprised that uh, Load Spiller did not for a grab there. There we go. It's hard for him to punch that, too. Nice and DI. He's hanging in there. 32 is going to deliver him. Land on stage. Should die. There we go. Wow. Really yeah. good stuff from Load Spiller. And that's really it. That's a, that's a chic edge guard, dude. Yeah. Just make her up be on stage, and they're just punish her. Um, the next level thing that, like, Sheik started doing nowadays is the, the, what they call, like, the captain face roll. When they, they up be, like, dumb high. And then they try to fast fall down because then she doesn't have like all the uh, the frames of lag at the end when she lands. She can shield immediately, but right. that didn't quite work here. And honestly, it's like very punishable. Um, it's really a mix-up at best. So we're gonna see them go right in the game too. Low spiller putting the work on you, Town Tom. Ooh, and does a sliding forward smash G sync with Nana. I love seeing that. It's like it just looks so trippy. And there we go, the first wobble of game two. <laughs> Get caught we're getting, right into Lowe's We're hand. getting the party started. <laughs> Let's get it started. When do you yeah. think he's going to end the damage? Um, Probably at like, I don't know, 150, 160. He can technically go up to 299 and uh, 
And it's still yeah. legal, right? Yeah, After yeah, 300, 300 is when it, uh, yeah, it's stalling. Nice shielding there. Which is honestly kind of silly. Because I'm like, I don't think anyone has DI to, like, you know what I mean? Better. Yeah. To take those. That'd be a peace out moment. I remember, uh,. I remember if I, it was either Q Puff or maybe even BBB, they would. Oh wow, that nice crab gonna get another wobble, yeah. Oh my goodness. And that was actually yeah. sick because he got it off a. He got a hard knockdown and then he used a desync ice block to jab, reach at him to make him stand up, and then that's how you right. got the wobble. Right, force to stand and you're good to grab. And like that actually sucks for a bonfire because like he can uh, roll out of that like. When you get hit by a jab reset, you can like buffer uh, yeah. a roll option, but I just don't think he was expecting the ice block to hit him. But there we go. Okay, oh, missing the punish there. And he really needed sucks. to separate him. Yeah, there. I don't know what it is, but like whenever you play an ice counter play in a tournament, your ability to kill Nana gets nerfed by a million. <laughs> so, like, there we go. He's gonna kill Nana there now. There we go, okay. And, I mean, I'd rather Popo, but I have to kill the Sona and. You know, this might be the first one if he gets to the edge guard, but he still has yeah, three more to go. I think we'll see. Oh, okay. Actually, just slip on. And he's going to land on stage. Go for the up air, and I kind of agree with it. He might have been able to get a reverse fair, but it's really hard to tell. By the way, he still has a low spot on the ropes. Ooh, wow, he went for a down choice. air. That yeah. was so cheeky. That was, I it was. But at the same time, it was smart to keep that active hitbox there right. just to hang out. All right, there he goes. He's going to come down. No shield grab on that. Definitely could have got one. And then here we go. So, low spiller, you know, he's running around. He can get a grab and then get a nice follow-up off of it. Down throw is so good with the climbers. Again. She, she just has that perfect weight. Oh, there we go. You can see get thrown attack. down. Nice up air. And I think he might have caught a double jump with that. Oof. Really that. good movement from low spiller. Yeah, that you was, saw you that, saw that wave land, dude? Yeah. Down back air. Oh, I go from there. And he actually gets stage Point. spikes off the top of the battlefield uh, base platform. Off the roof of the mouth. And the roof, yo. Uh-oh. And uh, you can hear the ice climbers chant going on there. <laughs> it's like they're... Really a siding with Lowe's flow here. But <laughs> Bonfire 10 needs to bring it back. Tom, I think, I believe his name is Paulio. <laughs> you gotta do it, man. I, I wanna see game three, but can yeah, he we live know. long enough? He gets forward air. Bonfire is starting to bring it back. Ooh, he goes for if a he get, If he gets the edge guard here, he certainly has a strong shot. Kill that shot. Nana, no. The wrong direction, yeah. And now she's yeah. gonna sync up with, uh, or rather now, Popo's gonna sync with Nana. And gets the up B hitbox. It's a recover. He's starting to throw out a lot of, uh, all right, a lot has of smash hitboxes, and honestly, those yeah. players have them to throw, you know what I mean? Oh, without well, roll by G, I mean by, okay. uh, it's called G-Town, by uh, Bonfire, with a little sus, but managed to get the oh, primer. Oh, just, I can't believe uh, that. Just missed, but effectively got the kill, yeah, you could argue anyways. Unfortunate SD, uh, Put some funky it. pressure on load spiller to make an SD. Here we go, he's charging the needles. Yeah, exactly. He's going to have to really work on catching up here. He needs right. to at least bring it back to damage, potentially with needles. Yeah, Get right the there. Coming back. He kind of fell into the, uh, what I call the chic uh, autopilot, where like they have this tendency of like, when they're falling, to always throw out back air, just because they feel like right. they need to put a hitbox out. And he got down smash for that, because like the hitbox kind of goes like upward and back. So it like, went right under it and it hit him cleanly. Um, and sometimes what you gotta do is if you got a double jump where you just kind of not throw that move. Oof. Throw will take it. 155 to deep throw fair. I mean, deep throw. See, I, don't, I don't even need to wobble. I can grab you and you might die anyways. Yeah, but I, despite uh, how Lospo has been in the lead this entire set, he's actually falling behind now. He needs to kill this Nana while he can. Right. She's dead. He's gonna try to up B her. Oh, no, she no. doesn't. Oh, wow, this is a stock for it. That's actually kind of crazy because I, I feel like by then, like, so you can't belay with Nana when she's in tumble. But I feel like by then, she should have been long out of tumble. I'm surprised he wasn't able to sync up with her, but he might have just done the belay too late. Um, right. Either way, now it's a tie game. Yeah, I think we're going to see both players start to play Oh, he got grabbed. Very cautiously. He's dead. That's, yep. Well, uh, Speaking of caution, clean too not happening. by Lotus Filler, unless he drops this wobble, which it's I've seen him do this plenty of times. Not going to be likely, it's yeah. Not, it's not, it's I not hear some claps from the cloud. <laughs> Koga helping out. Ooh, Lotus Filler takes. Taking it home. 2-0 against Bonfire 10.